She's a USA gold medalist, a four-time college All-American and killer point guard for the Tulsa Shock. And when she's not balling on the court, she's juggling a busy schedule as a spokeswoman for Nike and the founder of Skylar Scholars, Skylar Diggins. Welcome to the show. Thank hey, you. Welcome. Okay, you look like a supermodel. <laughs> it's, I mean, you're stunning. I cannot you. believe you're a point guard. Thank you. I mean, not that you can't be a beauty and a basketball player, but you look like you belong on the catwalk, my dear. Thank you. Okay, so now that I've totally objectified you, let's talk about <laughs> your ability as a player. You are the second top score in the WNBA, second top highest score in the WNBA. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Wow. What do you make of that accomplishment? Well, you know, it was a big deal for me to come back with a bang this year, mm -hmm. my second uh, sophomore season in WNBA um, after last year. I mean, I'm my own bit biggest critic, and, mm -hmm. you know, I know I struggled a little bit, so I put a lot of work in the offseason to make sure that I came back a better player for my team and um, try to do the same this year and to keep that improvement going. Wow. wow. And not only that, you're a five-time gold medalist and the only only player from Notre Dame that has actually been an all a four-time All-American. Wow. What do you credit to your success and all that you've accomplished? It's very humbling, but if, um, if I had to choose one thing, it would be my inner circle. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my parents, they really keep me grounded. Um, my best friends, I've had the same friends for about 14, 15 years. We grew up together. So, you know, my circle's very small, but, um, you know, I, um, I carry them with me everywhere I go and try to be a direct reflection of my parents and, you know, the values they instilled in me from an early age. So I just try to carry that around with me. So when, when did you first realize that you wanted to play and that mm. this would be your life's mission? Well, when I was about seven years old is when the WNBA actually started. Mm. And um, it was right after the 96 um, W or campaign we got next. I don't know if you remember of that. Course. And then the Cheryl yeah. Swoop shoes came out yes. and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, wow, we actually have a league now, so I could play at the next level. And um, you know, when I got to um, sixth grade and seventh grade, I started getting letters from from colleges, the questionnaires. And in eighth grade, I got offered a, a scholarship by Notre Dame, and I was like, wow, I could go to college for playing basketball. Wait, in eighth grade? In eighth, yeah, I hadn't wow. played high school yet. And they knew we that. You yeah, early. I, was, I, mean, I wasn't even that good. I think <laughs> looking back on it now, but um, just just all the doors of basketball is open for me. Has has been blessings and um, met so many great people. Been able to travel the world and have so many great opportunities and experiences from it. Speaking oh. of great opportunities, you're a spokesperson for Nike. How awesome is that? What does the job entail actually? Well, some of the stuff behind you. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, that's the Nike Pro route. Pro rival bra shoot mm -hmm. and um, just a few other campaigns that we've done and mm -hmm. you know we're doing the the Nike Women's Summit is this week mm -hmm. and um, so in the middle of that right now just basically um, encouraging and motivating and inspiring people and, and women of, of all fitness levels to um, you know start a healthy and fit lifestyle. And let's talk about Skylar Scholars. Mm -hmm. What moved you to start this program and this initiative? It was actually a young man in Tulsa who had who had who's a fan and, and you know came to the games quite often and uh, I hadn't seen him in a while and uh, since the last season so I saw him this season his mom said you need to talk to him about them grades mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was like what's up man what's up with your grades what's going on and um, you know he had fallen behind in a few of his classes and I, I made a deal with him I said well if you get your grades up and you make honor roll because he had a few weeks before school is over then I'll get you some shoes and I'll sign them and um, he came back and he had all his teachers sign his, his progress reports or the end of the quarter uh, report card. And he had gotten an A or a B in seven of his eight classes and he brought up um, six of his grades. I love it. So Brains, like, beauty, and balling. And it just I shows love you, it. It shows you the platform that we have <laughs> to mm -hmm. be able to, um, to, to make a difference and, you know, to really um, see that people are watching you know mm -hmm. how it's, it showed me how close like kids watch you know they just want to do well or just want to mm -hmm. be relatable or just meet you or just talk to you and I'm um, just using that platform and scholar scholars to really um, you know highlight a young person that's doing well and who deserves it and someone who has overcome adversity you know mm -hmm. like myself and just succeeds in the classroom so it's not it's not about me at all it's more about highlighting mm -hmm. you know the young person cause Well, how can people nominate a teen for the so you go on my website mm -hmm. and you have to um, download the doc. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I tweet about it and on Facebook about it all the time and That's Instagram. Perfect. And download the doc and you can nominate um, through the child's mentor or legal guardian or oh, teacher, um, a, a child who, um, you know, has overcome adversity and who has showed a, a big improvement. So. Well, speaking of teaching and adversity, <laughs> we have a gentleman sitting next to me who isn't the best baller. Oh, oh. Can you show him a move or two? Okay. Oh, <laughs> man, was that, that much ball? Aaron. I know, I was like, 
for the devil. <laughs> All right, maybe I, could, I could do a little something like okay. that. Okay, you can do the cliche. That's the cliche. Uh, <laughs> I know. Let's see, let's see the form. Not, okay, I don't want to yeah. hurt anyone. Don't so. hurt anybody. <laughs> just like, maybe I'll, I'll let you just handle the you ball. You see the form? I'll there shoot it go. to you. Okay, there okay. we go. Oh, you see how she let it hang? Okay, right back at you. Let's Look, see. let it hang like oh, that. See, that's nice. Okay, oh, is that, is that okay? It was, it was good. <laughs> okay. I might have another career. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. I'll play you a horse. Okay, okay. we can do that. We can, we can do that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me, uh, all right. And one more time, what's your website so people yeah. can go check it's it out? Officialscholardiggers.com. All right, thank you so much thank for joining us. So and we'll be right back with more Rise Entertainment 360. Don't hurt anybody, Lola. Oh!